All right, we're going to do a taste test on the Bishop's Crown. Now, I have eaten a couple of these already, and they're quite an interesting flavor. One of the interesting things about this Bishop's Crown, if this is even what it is, I don't even know at this point what this is, because it came out of that pack of seeds with the Penix that were yellow and the ones that were round with the spikes on them. I mean, all kinds of freaky stuff came out of there. But, nevertheless, uh, I got these peppers out of it. And so, to me, I would assume that these are Bishop's Crowns, okay? That's what they look like. So, for now, I'm going to just call them Bishop's Crown unless I find something else that determines that they're different. But the one thing I notice about all these peppers, and believe me, I let these ripen on the tree. I let them ripen on here for about a week, couple of weeks. These have been sitting here, so you can see the stems are dead on some of them. So they've been out for a while. They've been maturing, and the sugars, the uh, starches are converting over to the sugars. This thing's ready to be eaten. But the seeds never developed at all in this pepper plant. They're all immature seeds. They're soft little white seeds. They're not viable in any way, shape, and form. These are non-viable seeds. So the seeds never made it. That's telling me that this is probably not a pure strain and it's not capable of reproducing seeds or something like that. I don't know. But in any case, we are going to do a taste test and I'm going to turn you around. <clears throat> What's up, guys? So, I'm going to taste test this for you. Now, I have eaten a couple of these. They're not terribly hot, but they do got a little heat on them, but we'll check it. They seem like they vary from pepper to pepper, and uh, they got a good taste. So, let me try and describe this flavor for you, and I'm going to take a bite right now. Okay, let me get the heat out of the way first, and I'm going to come back, and I'm going to get the flavor. Flavor is something I want to focus on. All right, the heat part, it's got a little bit of heat on it. Not much, anywhere between. It's a very low kind of heat. It's 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 not really attacking the tom's tongue. It's really kind of burning my lips more than anything. It's a very mild heat. It's very pleasant, Okay. But the heat can range, because I've had a couple of these before, and they can range from, say, 100 to 500 in the heat range. So they're very low, but on the higher end, the heat has a weird kind of an effect. It kind of wants to stay on your lips, it burns your lips a little bit, doesn't really burn the tongue, gets the back of the throat, like right where the windpipe is, and, um, You know, it just makes you kind of cough. It's got that effect to it. So, but it doesn't really burn or anything. So, let me take another bite. Uh, did I say the Scovels? Yeah, I said Scovels. Let me take another bite and let me try to get you the uh, the flavor of this thing. Hmm. Okay got this beautiful fruity flavor it uh it as far as what kind of fruit it tastes like it kind of tastes like a peach a little bit that's the first thing that comes to my mind is when I eat it it's like that tastes like peach it kind of tastes a little bit like a peach it um it's not very sweet but it has a little bit of sweetness in it the, the peach flavor kind of just overwhelms you a little bit at first, and then it kind of tapers back right away, doesn't last. And then the, you know, the, the pepper part kind of kicks in, and the, and the capsaicin kind of is in there. So that you start to taste that. Now, as far as the pepper part of it, uh, it's... Um, It's a little bit tangy. 
a little bit tangy. The after you can taste that aftertaste. And uh, that's really it. That's you know, I'll take one more bite and see if there's any difference. I love that peach flavor. Oh my god. Mmm. That peach flavor is so delicious. Um, yeah, you can see the seeds and it develop on it. I mean, I'll try to save them, see if anything saves over and gets viable. I don't know. I picked them when they were red. But, I don't know, maybe they should have sat in the vine a little longer. I, I, I. But anyway, yeah, that's it. It tastes like peach. It's got very low heat. It's not killing me right now. I'm going to finish the rest of these. And, uh... That's it. All right. So that was your Bishop's Crown taste test. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Take care.